Oh, is it locking me in again? Let's. All right, I guess we're locked in this way. How's everybody doing? We good? My hair looks like a peacock. I was trying to get it out of my eyes, but it's all, it's got salt water and uh, humidity going on. So it just fluffs up rather than gets out of my face. <laughs> How's everybody doing though? Uh, Sky Dancer, what's up? Nancy B in Tennessee. Zach, Guppy Girl, Jeff Kane, Linda. Good to see everybody. Uh, let's see here. Sage, Aquatic Moose. Welcome, welcome. I have, uh, let's see here. Oh, there we go. There's live chat. Now I got everybody, I think. Zach, Tuck, Rex. What's up? Um... Uh, Chris, what's going on? All right, so I want to show you guys something real quick. Just the drama of the day. High stakes drama. Look at, so we got a gecko on the light and a gecko that's swooning after the female gecko on the light. Well, he just went back up there, but We've got geckos everywhere in this house. There's geckos all over. Uh, mostly because there's no windows. Like, all the spots for windows are just uh, holes. And uh, there's another little gecko, or actually there's a couple back up in there. So I just kind of wait for them to come down. Say, hey. You know, see how they're doing, give them names, dress them up in Renaissance outfits and reenact Shakespearean plays, you know, normal stuff. Ryan, what's up? So today I was at the I was at the ocean, the Pacific Ocean, uh, and I was at the uh, what do you call it? Uh, no AC, no. No, there's no, there's fans, but for me, we don't really need AC right now. Like it's been like 75, 76 for the high of the day. And uh, <laughs> look, I can literally pick that's out of the window. Like we did that earlier. You could pick them and crack them in. There are so many coconut trees. We're at the top of the, the coconut level and, uh, we're in a small town in between small tourist towns, so we got a really good deal, and there's six of us, so we were able to split the cost, too, which has been nice. Makes for it cheaper than staying at a hotel in the U.S., which is impressive, I guess. I don't know what to do with this. Guys, what do I do with this? Maybe I should just chop it all off tonight. Uh, but today, if you guys saw the weird cover photo that probably wasn't exactly clear what was going on, that was actually uh, a fish that was in a tide pool. So tomorrow, the fish pool... Uh, oh, good to know. Thanks, John. Uh, and also, Chris, hello. Alishan, hello. Um, Sketty, hello. <laughs> Uh, who else came in here? Mel, hello. A YouTuber, hello. Uh, oh, Rye guy, hello. Uh, so, yeah, um, tomorrow I know I am Morwina, hello. So, tomorrow apparently there's a lower tide than today. And today, uh, I'll probably upload some pictures on my Facebook, but. Uh, and YouTube should really fix that so that we could upload a bunch of pictures to uh, YouTube because right now you can only do five and it's not very practical. It doesn't uh, like it, it, it has you upload them in any scale and it distorts them when you view them. It's just uh, lame that way. Andy, hello. Aquadicted, hello. And Lady Diane, hello. Good to see you. Um, so, 
It is 9 o'clock p.m. here where I'm at in Mexico, and uh, it's 12 hours of daylight and 12 hours of night basically every day. So it's basically sun up at 7, sundown at 7, and it's that way most of the year. Now, I thought that, honestly, I thought that I would come here and I'd be able to go into all the different creeks and and uh, little gullies and things and find like live bears. Uh, there's all, you know, there's things like Lumias, golden skiffias, sword tails, uh, least killifish, like all sorts of weird little live bears uh, and goodyids and uh, what else is in there? Um, cichlids in some cases, but not a ton. There's also then like the Mexican ta cave tetras in this same latitude. Uh, and there's just a whole bunch of uh, domestic or ornamental lined uh, species and types of fish that are around. Sorry if that was loud. Uh, that are around. And uh, yeah, so kind of... Um, interesting that those things are listed as all being from here and, and and easy to find but they're not the water around here is so bad and to go into the area where there is um clean water you have to go up into the mountains and then into the plateaus the high plateau lands and that area is very, very, very unsafe right now. Um, th I mean, there's almost a, a war going on, uh, dare I say. And what's crazy is that the people down here, uh, they, they're, they're right now they, they're driving around locally and they have announcements. And most of them are just like, get your potatoes and rice and... Uh, whatever i don't know tequila even like homemade tequila because the tequila region's only about 150 miles from here and uh actually it's only like 50 miles but the heart of the, the valley the main valley is there um so yeah it's it's very weird to have the the kind of normal developing nation uh loud scooters and, and people cruising past and all that stuff all the time at all hours. But then you have the very strange uh, political stuff where they have a loudspeaker on a car. But because m most people in this area that are not well are very, very poor and they don't even have running water. Like the fact that we have running water, even though it's not safe to drink, is like amazing and uh yeah do i feel safe lady diane um yes if if i stay here in my place at night uh yeah like the place we have just because all of the houses around here have them have uh like barbed wire and or um like uh like what do you call the like the spikes on the top of the the walls and um there's about a 10 or 15 foot wall also um on the 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 um whole corner of this little villa we're staying and it's interesting in that um, I'm trying to show down below. So it's very nice where we're at. Like, it's very touristy. Um, and then down below, like, there's, like, a whole, like, little outdoor patio. And then there's, like, one of the rooms of one person that's with us staying right over there. And it's, like, a little bungalow. And then one of the other rooms is downstairs here. The one I'm staying in is right below us. It's not in a gated community, um, but this house, this this house that has like six bedrooms, five bedrooms, um, is all gated, um, and yeah, there's 
a pool down there that's a saltwater pool. Um, I don't know. I guess chlorine doesn't work so well. But check this out. Like, I can literally watch the ecosystem of the high palms. So we see, like, um, one of my new favorite animals is the chakalaka, uh, the bird, the chakalaka. And they're just these big birds that are, like, a turkey or a pheasant-sized bird. And uh, they, they make really loud, like, crazy noises. Um, so, yeah. And, uh, Lee Dan, I did the tour last night. Gorgeous place, but where do you all poop? Uh, so, that you're supposed to, uh, yeah. Uh, you're supposed to, they've got baskets set out like that. And then they have, um, you can't flush the TP and then they're like, mm, do you, I guess you can go number two, but it'd be better if you didn't. Uh, so if you can, and then there's like no toilet, no water in the toilet, uh, until you, prime it and then flush it and you can flush it with a little water or a lot of water um and this is like the nicest house in the area like it's hooked up to the grid has electricity clearly has wi-fi that's probably better than my home wi-fi which is crazy um and then the uh i mean the stuff that makes me not feel the safest is that there's like cartel graffiti around like you see the Jalisco new generation or it's it's I think it's CJNG is what you see written and there's like little kids that are like eight seven or eight that are running around the square that are like selling uh like or and uh that's really kind of depressing and sad in a, in a way. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't seem like <laughs> like anybody's parents in uh, any, of, any of the husbands are letting, uh, <laughs> where, letting the kids uh, partake. But they, they're definitely flagging down people. And, like, you, you get out at the gas station and there's, like, hordes of people selling trinkets and stuff to any tourist that comes by and then there's like people um just kind of trying to sell you anything from like a banana to a goat to illegal stuff like it's wild um if you drink the water you will have trouble flushing <laughs> yeah totally exactly uh but yeah so it is pretty but there are some uh, there's some downsides to the beauty here. That's that's for sure. I want to try to take you guys um, up again into the cabana where we can look out on the city because tonight's the full moon. Um, so I'm going to try to switch to a wireless and see if we can go um, up there. So hold on. Let's see how this goes. All right, so hold on. Okay, so we're on the fifth, fifth floor here. And right here, we're gonna go up to the sixth floor. So pardon me if it gets a little shaky, but check out these stairs. They're, they're Aztec stairs, like style-wise. So they go, they alternate, and they look pretty cool when you see like a whole bunch of them, but they're kind of crazy at night. And uh, they get you, so there was the kitchen that I was just in. There's the bedroom we're staying in. And then there's the foyer, and there's a floor below that down there that's the main doorway. 
but here you can see up the mountain and there's some other like really rich people up there um and yeah it's kind of interesting but there's these palm palm leaves from plants that are like 30 to 40 feet tall that I've never seen before I have no idea what kind of palm they are uh, but we're going up to the very top and this is a climb so now I'm climbing on my hands and knees Ugh. and we're almost up okay I'm up so uh, let me flick the light on maybe Oh, here we go. Ta-da! So from up here, <clears throat> I can see everything. And the whole side of the house is uh, solar panels on the other side. So they don't have to be hooked up to the grid. Plus... There's water catchment all over, too. But there's been these crazy birds, like I was saying, the, the chocolacas. And if you've never seen one, Google it, or I'll be uploading a video soon. But they're, they're really fun. Uh, and, yeah. Yeah, chocolaca does not sound real, but it is. They look like turkeys. Um, like there's one palm tree that's taller. There's two that are taller, but the rest in for blocks and blocks around were like the tallest thing, which is really bizarre. I've never stayed at a place like this. Um, so yeah, but you know, I was really, really bummed that I was really bummed that we're just not, um, having, the, the, how do I put it? The, the creeks that I get to, they're just ruined. There's just motor oil and mostly sewage. Um, mostly sewage and, and, and like diapers. And you can see that the, the toilet paper and the sewage water just flow into all the rivers around here. So I've had a really hard time finding any water that is, even clean enough to support anything other than maybe like carp or um, sheep's head minnows come in with the tide. But the Am Amica or Ameca River, it is 100% like no go. We followed it for maybe 10 miles total on the day that we got here. And it's just, I mean, there's everything from shopping carts to cars to, um, buildings and like people are fishing the banks of it so it mu they must have fish in there but it is just really beyond what you've seen in the u.s for the most part there's a few spots in like detroit or like the hudson like or the east river back in the day <laughs> they used to look really bad um but just the smell is like that alone is overwhelming. And so most rivers, you can hop out of the car and be like, no, we're not, we're not going to go look for fish here. Um, so that has been frustrating because, you know, my wife wanted to hang out and relax and be on the beach and her and her friends wanted to just kind of chill. But um, we, I mean, I wanted to go look for animals i don't even care what kind of animals uh, african cichlid dude hello dragon lair hello uh dad or uh da digitech man what's up um lando also hello laura hello uh um 
let's see here. Yeah, it's so sad. Mexico has devastated its environment, much Latin America has. Yeah, um, yeah, exactly. There's no federal or state mandates or infrastructure set up for national garbage collection, wastewater. That's what cheeses me about Mexico. Yeah, Lar exactly. Um, yeah, there is there there are lots of cattle. There is lots of bird watching. Um, in the town we're in, it's very interesting. Be, like the 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 region here is very crazy in that it's completely tropical. Like hundred percent humidity all day long. Hazy. It's so humid. Everything's sticky. The camera lens fogs up instantly. It's so annoying that way. Um, and in the mornings, there's just a dense fog on the water and everything. And then if you go even 100 feet, 200 feet up in elevation, uh, where I'm at, just away from the beach, like up the hill a bit, you get away from all of it and it's clear and the fog is lifted and you can see it like a line that just, it lines the horizon like right here. Uh, and it's pretty crazy. But uh, then we've also been, you know, you go up even higher and uh, you you can see that it gets cooler and it, it's very dry, like very, very dry. So it goes from this lush jungle to this like temperate, uh, subtropical or temperate, like Mediterranean uh, like manzanita and madrona and like uh, ironwood and tumbleweeds like almost the desert like it, it's very interesting that way Sinaloa is um, now we're down south of Sinaloa what is the temperature of the water so the salt water is 78 degrees and right now is the coldest month of the year right around now or next month um, and so yeah Call of the Chakalaka Laka Laka. Yeah, Chakalaka. They're really loud. Hey Corey, welcome. Passing wind, welcome. Um so yeah, it's been it's been really cool though. Um seeing it, it's been really sad though to see how so many people live. And Mexico isn't even like I mean, it's not known as, like, the place where people are starving in the streets, right? Like, it's bad, and there's poverty, but it's not, it's not quite like that anymore. Um, and what's even weirder is that there is, like, you can feel safe in the sense that, like, on the streets, like, no one has any, like, weapons. Uh, everything is really um, orderly. Uh, down to parking and everything but then there'll be these guys that come through in pickup trucks and they have walkie talkies and they have uh, vests on and everything and they check in with like every block and then I guess those guys check in with other people and I, I thought they were federales at first but they're not they're uh, I think they're C and JG um, the Jalisco new generation, um, cartel guys. So it's really bizarre in that they've also got like, even on like the products you buy, uh, from what I hear, the X is, <laughs> yes, Mexico. Uh, so where we're at right now, they don't want any bloodshed whatsoever. They want it to be, um, peaceful so that they can get their money because they have so thoroughly corrupted this area that like everybody's paying off them or they literally are using uh very nice like resorts like like uh, secluded resorts that's where they're laundering money as well as like they own most of the avocado industry and all that so and the local police there's a tourist police there's a traffic police there's a police locale and then there is um another one too and they're all just like i don't know what they do they all just have vests on and like a whistle whereas uh the other <laughs> the other people are there's the federal police they disbanded the federales in 2019 because of corruption uh, 
but they still have a federal police with a different name and they switched units around and whatever and those people were in the town square today so it was weird because you just saw everyone scatter back into the civilian population that that had been um you know in those trucks with the pickup trucks with the loudspeakers and they'd be saying stuff too yeah we heard about the four americans that got kidnapped two got killed um if you end up running into uh poppy fields very bad news yeah um yeah bad news we know where not to go uh i definitely know where not to go not saying that makes you completely safe but uh the people who get into trouble are generally people who are going to like the illegal pharmacias and buying like thousands of dollars of uh you know steroids to bring back to the u.s or whatever it may be um you can buy everything over the counter here that's uh i mean everything they're advertising it used to be bad i remember in tijuana 15 years 10 15 years ago um i went to juarez ciudad juarez and that was scary at the time that was right during i guess 2010 is when i was there and there was a, a car bombing and there was the um uh, secretary of state of mexico i believe it was actually got um killed while while we were in town that week and uh, that was like a really really scary time i i don't know why we thought that was a good time to go um camping and hiking uh in college but we did uh i guess we were just dumb but then we came back uh, obviously like that scared us that event scared us the bombing so we came back because the bombing happened at a checkpoint and uh so i hadn't been back to mexico since then before that i'd been to like mexicali and like um or what's it called calexico um the one the one on this side one on the Mexican side of the border, but I've been wanting, I've been dying to go to the Yucatan. So I really want to come back and come to the Yucatan. But what's crazy is that, um, it is so inexpensive, even here where everyone's like to tourists trap is so expensive on the, on the beach towns, you know, uh, like a Dr. Pepper is maybe a dollar, a, a bottle. And, um gas is comes out to around like i think 350 or four dollars a gallon um there are no um there are no uh pet stores or fish stores here though which is very odd um i met people who keep fish locally and they keep saltwater fish that they go get literally <laughs> right there um, the problem is you have to, so we also, um, yeah, the Yucatan is much safer now because it's all tourism, but it's not gonna be because the, uh, CG, uh, whatever the, this, there's the Sinaloa and the CGYN or C, CNJG cartels. And they are fighting. Um, and, uh, yeah, so it's, it's sketchy because they just arrested the son, the Americans did, and they want to export him. Uh, so, yeah, Alex, is that cartels in the background? No. Uh, it's somebody... So up here is literally a, up there is a, um, what do you call it? A, a graveyard. And, uh, up in the graveyard, it's so elaborate. It is, there are, I mean, there's houses the sizes of, like, mansions. Um... And the houses that are the size of mansions are, are graves. And so that's what those where those fireworks are coming from, is up at the top of the graveyard. And so uh, 
Some are bigger than, than just normal fireworks, though. You hear some that are like, bow, and they turn the car alarms on and stuff. Scared me the first time I ever heard it. Um, but, yeah. So, anyways, yeah, the, the weird part about the aquarium hobby here is, you know, I've met people who are into the aquarium hobby, who want to be a part of the aquarium hobby, but they just don't have fresh water uh, access to any species. Like, there's no stores that sell here. They'd have to go into um, Puerto Vallarta. And in Puerto Vallarta, there's some. Or Guadalajara. But both of those are, like, you know, hours away. So, um, yeah. I'm just getting down from the roof. Because last time we heard the fireworks, we also heard the ba da 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 ba da 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 ba da 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 celebrating like idiots uh, firing off stuff in the air. So we'll we will come back into the house, not because of anything other than the fact that they might be ba 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 again. Okay, so guys. Our, uh, where is it? So we got our little house geckos. And here's the male. And here's the female. And she's just been chilling next to that light, trying to stay warm all night. And he has been showing off, being like, look at me, baby. And he's 100% upside down. Um, he's hanging from being completely upside down. So it's kind of crazy to watch him run up the ceiling, which we were just up there. And it's crazy to watch. Yeah. There he goes. All right. Uh, yeah, wild. Yeah, I love them too. They're eating the cockroaches. Like there's cockroaches because you can't avoid them here. And uh, they will eat, not those geckos, but there's some bigger geckos. And I've yet to be able to get one on film because they hang out in the dark. Um, but yeah, uh, in, in uh, oh, tegus, that's what they're called, tegus. Uh, what's the little blue fish in the thumbnail? So the blue fish, I think what it is, it's, it's some sort, I think it's a blue headed cleaner wrasse, I think, um, is what it looked like maybe, but I'm not one hundred percent sure on that. Um, it might be a, like a fry of something else, but it was super cool. Um, yeah, I really like the the blue fish, and I also did see a Pacific blue tang and a, a Pacific yellow tang too. So there's there are various fish in the waters that are um, I don't know whatever you want to call it tropical and beautiful. Um, but I'm gonna try to find more of them during the high tide or low tide tomorrow. The problem is that it is the water is so dirty that you can't even see except for the tide pools. So if it's trapped in a tide pool and I climb up the point, which is a little hard with my back still, my back being not the best, um, then you can kind of, oh, hi, honey. I guess my wife's in our room, so... Uh, I was, I was, uh, I was going to stream in here, but I've got a house gecko that's very large taking up the bed. It's kind of interesting. They built the bed into the wall. Like, it's like lashed into the wall. So, well, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll walk downstairs for a sec and finish up the live stream. Uh, 
But yeah, so it's pretty cool. There's a lot of beautiful plants that I'm taking pictures of. I feel like nobody really wants to see a plant video without me knowing the actual names of everything, obviously. Because otherwise it'd just be like, wow, look at this pretty thing. So I may do like a B-roll video of just like pretty nature and some music or something. But other than that, I don't think I'm going to do much of anything um, with the just the all the extra footage I have here. Um, but yeah, it's, it's definitely really pretty. And uh, I definitely... In enjoy the 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 region it's it's very nice uh i'm surprised that, that our our cell phones are so good here like my my internet is good okay i will make a b-roll of all of the cool beautiful plants and um you know diving birds pelicans uh blue-footed boobies those are everywhere um, and everybody obviously jokes about it, but <laughs> this is like their big nesting ground, I guess. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll make some posts about it. By the way, I picked these up for a friend. Yeah, Lady Diane, the wet, the, the heat, even though it's only 75 or so in the days, it is, I can't be in the sun. So you can probably see all the puffiness in my face and eyes. And I'm on, um, I'm on steroids. I'm on um, uh, prednisone and uh, methyltrexate and uh, hist histamine blocking type stuff, also for allergies. But um, you know, it's worth it to me. Uh, but yeah, it was really cold when we left. Yeah, so, um, and the thing is, all of this is practice for Peru. I want to go visit, I want to go visit Dr. Anthony in Peru and, and the Amazon. And if I can't make it in Mexico or, you know, other places like that, then I can't make it. But pick these up as, as a, uh, what do you call, a a keepsake, I guess, or a, a, I don't know what to call them, but these are camels. I don't, I'm probably not supposed to even show these, but they're grape NyQuil flavored, and they're like brand named. So, yeah, that's the most disgusting smelling. Even not lit, they smell disgusting. But I'm going to definitely bring them back and give them to my friends who are into those. <laughs> uh, but guys, I'm going to log off here. Everyone in my house is going to sleep. And uh, I'll do it. Oh, uh, yeah, that one is already locked. I think we opened it for Oh, oh, you're feeding animals now, huh? Okay. Did they come tonight? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so apparently we've also picked up some stray cats tonight. Um, maybe they're out here still. There's like a whole litter of them and with their mom. Ugh. Oh, hold on. Are they out here still? No, they're not out here. No kitties. But we can we can lock everything down here, and we will. Uh, so that's all locked down now. And then beyond that, we've got another set of gates right here. And that locks. And then we've got walk-in doors that are like man in the iron mask style doors on each of the houses too. All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining me. Just seeing the update. Just kind of telling you why. Obviously, there's not a bunch of new content up. And uh, 
I am filming stuff though, and uh, I'm gonna stay stay at it. And uh, I hope you guys can enjoy some of the deep dive videos I did recently. If you haven't seen them yet, I'd appreciate it if you did. And uh, yeah, tegus are here. I don't know. I don't know if they're even indigenous, but they're definitely here and fast, and they eat a lot of cockroaches. Um, but you barely see them because they just run from one hiding spot to the other or from one tree to the other. I did go find a bunch of iguanas today, though, so I'll have a video with that in it, too. So we should have a video or two of the trip, but I don't want to be boring, so we'll see. Hopefully tomorrow I can get some swimming in. We're going to go to this beach a couple miles away, and hopefully I can get some snorkeling done with and, and film it. So we'll see. Um, yeah see what's up all right guys well thank you so very much uh ah thanks tegus are native to south america that makes sense i mean anything that's a pet has ended up here now like there's supposedly guppies in all the rivers and stuff so i'm kind of hoping to find a pond or something i found goldfish and koi just in the creek but i haven't seen anything other than that so yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. Thanks for joining me on this dark evening of a strange live stream. But uh, I will talk to you guys soon. Much love. Take care of yourselves. Be safe. Take care of your tanks. And viva la Mexico. Bye, guys.